When a child is born, it is a beautiful thing. A joyous occasion, a time of great celebration. The proud parents look into their child's eyes and see great hope for the future. Perhaps a future president, scientist, artist, teacher, or cultural changing figure. Not someone born to hurt. No child is born bad. Yet an unsubstantiated, since this proven theory led policymakers to believe that a wave of violence and lawlessness would wash over this country, perpetrated by our children. A super predator was the label that was given to children. My name is Angel Alejandro, and in February of 1998, I discovered this dark and saddening fact firsthand when I was arrested by the FBI, and a prosecutor explained to a judge that I was not a child at all, but a super predator. A fatherless, godless monster who, given half a chance, would go on to commit one more harm. Not that I was a child whose underdeveloped brain was susceptible to impulsive behavior, peer pressure, but how I deserved to be locked away for the rest of my life, even before my life had even begun to take shape, and how this action best served society by damning me as irreparably corrupt. I had a typical upbringing until I was about 13 years old. It was at this time after my parents divorced that I discovered first my mother laying on my father were both struggling with substance abuse. I was ashamed of my parents, and I began to look up to the guys in my neighborhood. When I was 15 years old, I joined the neighborhood gang, and within the span of a couple months, I was told to go along on my bike to look out for the cops during a shooting. Almost three years later, I was arrested. I was interviewed by a psychologist and run through a transfer hearing to assess whether I would be charged as an adult. I was diagnosed with anti-personality disorder. I was adjudicated as an adult, even though the crime occurred when I was 15. I wasn't even at the scene when the crime happened. I was a block away just riding my bike as a lookout. I was told by the judge that I was a menace to society and I deserved to spend the rest of my life in prison. I will never have a life outside of prison, never have a family of my own. I couldn't wrap my mind around that fact that this was happening to me. In 2012, the Supreme Court decided it was unconstitutional to sentence most children to life in prison which provided hundreds of children resentencing and ultimately allowed me to return home. I came an age in prison and despite my circumstances, I did not become the remorseless, irreparably corrupt person that the super predator falsely predicted that I would be. After returning home from prison some 16 months ago, I'm now working at the campaign for this fair sentence in the youth as a grants officer. I'm also a member of the Incarcerated Children Advocacy Network, or ICANN. I'm now utilizing my life experience to advocate for the abolishment of extreme sentencing of children in states that refuse to implement the Supreme Court's decision and repeal all the draconian laws that were predicated on the falsehood that was the super predator theory. They called me a super predator. I was 15 years old, a child. I was a child. I experienced exponential trauma. I know that no child is born bad. 